Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about construction line. So first, let's go to the home tab and the draw panel. We are going to see click click the triangle. Now we are going to see the construction line. My command is here. So if we put here, it's going to show the prompt saying that construction line. So there is the two arrow, right? Two arrow with the opposite direction. So this is construction. If we want to use it, we just uh, click it. And uh, note that at the bottom of the screen, the in the command window, it shows that X line. So if you want to use the command, we just need to type in X line. Let's try. And Let's try it. So press the escape. So we just want to use the command. So type in X line. Okay. So it's showing up X line. Actually, we can also type in XL. XL for short. So it's going to show up the construction line. So select it. So it says that specify a point. Right now, I want to specify a point. First, I want to zoom on. No, let's do the escape, and I want to zoom out, and so that I can see my grid. So let's type in X L construction line. Enter it. So specify a point. I want to specify the point from here. Okay, it's here. So it says that look at the command window. Specify through point. So I want to specify the point here. Okay, right click it. And now we already build a construction line. So let's try to zoom out. So it's very, very long, actually. We can't not see the end of this construction line. Let's zoom in. Okay, it's here. So let's keep doing. Type in XL. Enter it. So look at the look at the prompt. It says HOR means horizontal. It means that if we want to build horizontal construction line, we need to use this one. Select it, okay, it shows the construction line along the horizontal direction. So I want to put another construction line here. Right click it. So, so let's keep doing, draw another construction line. I can simply press space key on the keyboard. Okay, it shows up the same command. X line. So let's select the vertical. This time I want to draw a vertical constraint line. Select this. You see, it's already showing up. I want to place it here along one axis. Right click it and uh, press space key. So it shows up the X line command. So let's select the angle. Okay, look at the command window. Enter angle of X line. So here the angle is degree. So let's say I want to draw a construction line along 25 degree. in 25 enter it okay we see that so this line is actually uh, has the angle 25 45 relative to x axis I want to place here okay press switch key right now I want to try bisect basically it means that it's going to 
put the king's firing line at the middle of the angle. So this control line is going to bisect the angle. For the convenience purpose, I want to draw draw angle first. So let me go to let's let's go to the top left. Select the line command, click it. So I want to randomly draw angle, and here so we have angle. Let's try to build a constraining line that bisects bisect the angle. So type in XL, enter it. Okay, it says that let's select the bisect first. So it said specify angle vertex point. Here is a vertex point. Let's click it. And it says that specify angle start point. Okay, this is start point. So it, it says that look at the command window, specify angle end point. So this is end point. Select here. Right click. Okay, look at look at the screen. So I already built a constraint line that that insect this angle. And the press space key. I want to try the offset. So look at the command window. It says that specify offset distance. So I want to have an offset. Offset this line to this direction for the distance 5. Let's type in 5. Enter. So it says that select a line object. So I want to select this line and move this line up with distance 5. Click it and look at the command window. It says specify side to offset. I want to move to this side. So click it. Okay, it's already there. Already there. So look at the distance. Here is scale 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's exactly the line that we want. So look at the command window. It says that select a line object because we want, want to keep, keep doing it. So let's see. I want to move this construct line along the right direction, this direction. So select it and look at the command window, specify side to offset. I want to move to this side because the distance already set 5. So it's going to move this direction with the distance 5. Let's try to count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. It's exactly right. Okay, that's it. This is a construction line command. We can use XL or we can use X line and uh, try to draw the construction line that we want. Thank you very much for your watching. If you have any question, please feel free to let me know.